Hi everyone and welcome back to my art channel. So in my previous video um, we started working on her outfit and I finished making just the underdress and um, I had to split that project into two parts because my video was getting a bit too long. If you guys prefer me not to make it as a tutorial but to you know quickly put the project together without me speaking or explaining what to do that would you know shorten the video a whole lot if you prefer that let me know in the comments but if you like it when i do the commentary and you know explain step by step of what i'm doing if that somehow helps you or teaches you anything i'll try to adjust my videos um to your preferences i'm still trying to find my niche um, the best way to make the videos so that i can post them as often as i can but meanwhile in this video we're going to continue on her outfit project and um, i'll be making a pinafore i keep calling it the pinafore although it looks a lot more like an apron but the reason why i call it a pinafore is because it has both front and the back and it's just you know cut at the sides so it's more like pinafore versus an apron or it could also be a, a apron style pinafore or pinafore style apron i don't know <laughs> either way i'm gonna call it a pinafore because it's easier for me so yeah um i didn't make a pattern for the pinafore because after all that time it took me to make the dress itself, I decided I'm just going to quickly throw it together. So majority of what I'm doing here is me just winging it. So I'm not sure if commentary will help you guys in any way because I really don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to show it you guys without me speaking because I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, you know, um, it's difficult as is for me to find the right words to describe my actions and steps thoroughly, you know, and understandably. I still hope it's clear enough for you guys to learn something from me if, you know, you want to try making that particular apron style pinafore or pinafore style apron yourselves it's fairly easy to do there is nothing much complicated about it if you know a little bit anything about sewing or pattern drafting you'll manage it um so yeah let's get right into it but before that i want to make a nice pair of tights for my doll out of this stretchy scrap of knit i had lying around and I'm going to use this other scrap of knit, which has the similar stretch, in order to draft a pattern for the tights. I trimmed the fabric to straighten it and cut it down to the length of her legs. Then I wrap it tightly around one of her legs and pin it down in order to get the right shape of it. making my marking somewhat line up, pin it down and cut it out. And of course I make sure it fits the doll's leg. After making all the final adjustments, I transfer my pattern over to the fabric I want to make the tights out of. the pant legs in half making sure all the edges line up, especially the corners of the crotch, and pin them along the edge. Then I pin both pant legs together, lining up the edges of the crotch back with back, front with front. And of course I try it on my doll to make sure it fits, and to measure out how much waistband I need to add. When I think everything looks good, I sew all the pieces together using my sewing machine. I churn the pant legs inside out and pin them together at the crotch. 
I stitched the crotch only halfway, leaving the back side open to make it easier to sew in the waistband. Then I hemmed the top of the waistband using a zigzag stitch. I pin the waistband to the waist of my tights and stitch it together. I give them one less fitting, then I cut the axis of the waistband off and finish off the crotch. Thank you.
this is the outfit for my doll. I am very, very happy with the way it turned out. It actually turned out exactly how I imagined it would. I'm loving the newsprint and I love the little lacy details. I love how it fits the doll. And I'm also very happy with my pinafore or apron or um, an apron style pinafore. I don't know what you call these, but yeah, I am happy with the way this one turned out. Um, I love the ruffles, um, the straps and everything. I love how these two fabrics look together. I think they really, really complement each other. I love the color scheme going on here. I'm also pretty satisfied with the way my tights turned out. They fit her perfectly. And I still need to make um, a pair of shoes for her, a bag, a couple of books, a wagon, and a teddy bear. So, um, and the first thing of all these little extra details I'm gonna make are the shoes and the bag. And I'm going to make them out of real leather. So my friend gave me this scrap of leather. I've made doll shoes before, but I've never worked with real leather. So um, this is gonna be quite the um, interesting experiment. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video, cause in that video I'm gonna be making leather shoes and a bag to match.